What's up, YouTube? Tomorrow, too. Apologize for taking so long. This took a lot longer than I thought it would. But anyway, there's a lot going on here. Uh, we're going to show some output now on this uh, wheel. And uh, what I did on the input side was uh, I increased the uh, pulley size so that the motor would just run all by itself with no, no control whatsoever. Just running wide open on a 12 volt battery. And I got one meter there on the switch to, uh, you know, just to operate that motor. So the input just stays constant the whole time. This helped the RPM and the, and actually helped the amperage a little bit, but not a whole lot. It still it still ends up with a free wheel a free wheel amperage draw of 0.65 amps with nothing on it. And I'll, I'll show you that we I got some footage of it as we go all the way around. But uh, as we'll see, we get it every time we add a set of coils to it we create a little bit drag when it's loaded and you're using electricity. However, when it's not loaded, it creates an extreme amount of drag, which is what a normal generator does when you load it, it creates more drag, where in this case, when you load these, the generator has less drag on the input engine. So well, this is, and, and this multiplies every time you add one to it. And, uh, with the voltages that I've got here, I'll turn it on and show you one. It's probably going to be too loud. I won't leave it running. We'll show you one here. That's the square set of coils right here. You can see that it's uh, well, the input. That's the input to the motor. The input. You got 0.9 amps coming from there. But if we take that off, check the voltage. I had a bunch of wire that I started with and I just wanted to do different coil setting uh, gauges to, to see which one would work best for the width of the coil because I didn't want to get them too wide I couldn't get the iron to be together so at any rate I had extra 24 gauge, 24 and a half, 25 gauge so I used some of that stuff up and we'll figure out which one I want the best. Now I can series all these together and get one main large about 170, 180 volt uh, potential across the whole thing as a series, but the effect does not happen in during a series. So there's more to look at in that. As far as this goes, you look at, at the chart. You see that we've added. Well, if you if you deduce the 24 volts, which is average of what we pull in here, down to 12 volts, then we're getting an, an amperage of about 1.6 amps, which is half the wheel which is right at what we start with the free wheel. So it's almost making enough current now to run the free wheel right by itself. And that's just halfway around. And of course that's all mixed match coils. And I get all the same size gauge wire on there. That'll, that'll increase the uh, efficiency of the entire thing. However, we only like, we're, we're enough to run it itself now. So whatever we add to it, it'll just be more more to it. We'll have to increase, we'll have to overcome a little more drag. It, it, we're going to have to go all the way around the wheel. So I'll have to make this whole thing go all the way around the wheel. But at any rate, there are the numbers. Hope you can see them. And uh, maybe that'll clear things up. I'll show some video here how, you know, one at a time and, and the voltage and amperage dropping in the input motor. And again, you know, the outputs are 24 volts at roughly a tenth of an amp each. So we're making pretty good bit of electricity. But we're almost making as much as we're putting in now. So definitely there. It's definitely there. Something to look into. So I thought I'd throw a heads up there. Peace and love. Hope you enjoy it.